simple interest question 9 we'll continue with our simple values suppose you invest thousand dollars that earns simple interest of five percent per annum after how many years will it double that's question number nine so what do you think when we are saying in how many years will it double it really means that we are earning the same amount of interest as the investment as the principal invested great now in our case principal amount invested is thousand dollars so literally we are trying to figure out after how many years was the interest earned equal to thousand dollars so that is one way of looking into it correct the other way is the second formula a equals to p times one plus rt so it says after how many years will it double so double means we invested thousand dollars that is p a should become two thousand and we need to find what t is correct so so there are two ways to do we can adopt both the ways and find a solution right so i'll divide this into two parts so here we'll go for this way first so after how many years will it double that means it becomes 2000 so we we'll say 2000 equals to 1000 times 1 plus rate of interest is 5 percent which is 0. 0 0.05 into time t correct so when you divide thousand two thousand by thousand you get two so you get two equals to one plus zero point zero five t correct now you can take away one and then divide by zero point zero five so if you take away one so we get two minus one and then you divide by zero point zero five to get t so if you do that, 1 divided by 0 0.05, you get 20. So let me just confirm, right? 0 0.05 equals to 20. So we get time of 20 years, right? So that becomes our answer. Now this is one way, as I said, we can use the formula directly. Second way is looking into as if, in how much time did we earn the interest which is same to the principal invested. So principal invested is thousand. If we earn thousand more, the amount doubles, correct? So let I be thousand. And principal was thousand. Good. Rate of interest is zero point zero five. Always rate of interest is percent, five percent, five divide by hundred. And time T, right? So from here we can calculate thousand 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 time t so time t equals to thousand divided by thousand which is one right times 0 0.05 if we do that we get almost the same thing one divided by 0 0.05 which is 20 years so after how many years will the investment double the answer is after 20 years correct that's your answer now question number 10 when will your interest earn double the invested amount that means invested amount is thousand dollars when will the interest earn will become double to thousand that means when will i will be two thousand right so that's simple we write i equals to two thousand and find the time so we said two thousand equals to thousand was amount p r is zero point 0 0.05 we'll put that in bracket and time t so time t equals to thousand divided two thousand divided by thousand over this right so which is from here we can calculate time t equals to two thousand divided by one thousand into point zero five right which is okay 1000 times 0 0.05 which is when use calculator it was 20 earlier now it becomes 40 so you can calculate using calculator you get 40 years so it takes double the time because it's linear correct the whole thing is why we are asking question number 10 is to show you that the interest earned is linear so in 20 years you earn thousand dollars as interest then in 40 years another thousand 
so it becomes 2000 what is the growth rate for this investment that is what it comes to so growth rate is uh, how many dollars per year right that is the growth rate by how much time is it rising right so what we can do is to find answer of this question we can investigate our amount so what is the growth rate for this investment so how does our investment grow that means final amount becomes so we say a equals to let me open this bracket distributive law we get p plus prt let me reorganize this there's a reason to do that so i'll do prt plus p right that is the reorganized part now why i did it this is the equation of a line how you remember line equation y equals to mx plus b where where i could draw a line here saying well let's say let's say this is my graph here let me draw this graph of amount growing right it could be like this right where this is the principal amount p invested correct and every year we get this much more correct with time so every year p r more p times r do you see that so for this particular situation what is p times r principal is thousand dollars correct and rate is five percent so it is thousand times zero point zero five which is equal to fifty dollars right so every year the amount increases by fifty dollars right so the rate is fifty dollars per year do you see that so what is the growth rate of this investment so the growth rate of this investment is fifty dollars per year and how do we get it we get a growth rate by multiplying p with r growth rate do you see if you compare with the equation of a line y equals to mx plus b b is the y intercept which is p principal amount correct and m is the slope or the growth rate right for this line which is increasing p times r so the growth rate of an investment is p times r and in our case this is equals to dollar 50 per year correct so i can add here in this formula that if i want to find growth rate i can say growth rate equals to p times r okay so that is how we can analyze our simple interest from different angles so you you have learned in this series of 11 questions so far that simple interest is always gained on the principal amount invested and it is a linear growth every year you get the same amount of interest correct and we have also seen that if we find the amounts every year they follow arithmetic sequence and you have also learned how the arithmetic sequence term number general term can be related with our formula of a equals to p times 1 plus rt correct so by now you understood each and every aspect of simple interest you have seen our two formulas i equals to prt and a equals to p times 1 plus rt in different ways how we can use them we also used amount as p plus prt that means invested money plus interest earned that's the final amount correct now last question for you is coming up we'll give you a graph from there you have to describe the situation of simple interest thank you